this uh, video here will uh, provide instructions to remove a linear actuator where the front mount uh, has been broken due to a mishandling. A mishandling in this case is that uh, as the uh, table is shipped, uh, the table uh, is blocked uh, in such a way to remove any load that could be uh, placed on the linear actuator during transit. Uh, in addition, it removes any load placed on the linear actuator during the delivery and uh, uh, location process. Location process in this case is the placing the table in its intended location in the clinic. Uh, while that table is in a blocked condition, uh, if uh, someone should apply power to the table and uh, should press the down button, this linear actuator, which is capable of lifting over 1,500 pounds, uh, will find itself in a position where the table is mechanically blocked and electrically uh, the linear actuator is being commanded to lift the table. The consequence of that will be that the linear actuator mount point here uh, can be broken uh, or damaged. Instructions we'll provide here uh, will uh, enable uh, the individuals to uh, raise the table uh, to a working height and at that working height then to follow the instructions for the removal of the linear actuator that's found in a another instructional video. First step will be we're going to take the floor jack and we're going to make sure that the relief valve in the floor jack is completely closed and it's turned clockwise. Closed and tight. Okay. Again, closed clockwise. All right. Second step is we're going to go ahead and we're going to raise that jack two fingers high. How far is two fingers? Raise it up. Put two fingers in place. And when you're two fingers high, stop. Okay. Next step, we're going to um, go ahead and uh, get control of our blocking board. And we're going to lift the table. Uh, in this case with two individuals. We'll place the blocking board in place. Okay. We're going to take the floor jack, put the floor jack in place. We're going to make sure that the lip of the tube here is sitting inside of this groove in the floor jack. Okay. All right. Now, we're in a safe working condition at this point. The table is uh, is blocked up. The floor jack is in place. The relief valve has already been closed and we can now raise the table to the highest position. Okay. Very good. At, uh, at, the, at that point, since the mount here uh, has been broken, uh, it's not connected at this point, we'll then begin our removal uh, process here and then following the next instructional video, the complete removal process and reinstallation process will be provided.